What's up everybody? I'm the One Man Drywall Army and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I did drywall by taking you on this job walk and walking you through my process. The client that I'm doing this job for is a client that I've been working with for the, for the last 10 years and so they know me I know them and for the most part I pretty much feel like I've got the job before I even even throw up some numbers and so I feel good about that but as we all know there are no guarantees in life however I would say that there's over a 90% chance that I will be doing the job okay so uh, what I wanted to do at the end of this video is I wanted to show you guys um, give you guys all the specs everything that I come up with as far as square footages uh, the actual scope of work and, and by me doing this, I'd like to see who out there can, um, can, can tell me how much they think that the job is going to cost. I already know how much the job is going to cost, but I'm also interested in, in hearing uh, what other people think a job like this is going to cost. So with that being said, let's go ahead. We're going to go on in and we're going to get this party started. Okay, so we're in the building now. And uh, the first thing that I noticed as we got in is we got, we got carpet. So that's one thing that we got to do is we have to preserve the carpet. And so we're going to have to account for two rolls of, of carpet shield. You're looking at about $35 a roll for the larger roll. So that's $75, uh, $70 for material, okay? Something you got to think about. We're going to have to do demo on all this wallpaper over here. And uh, once, uh, once all that's demo, it's going to get two uh, full skim coats to uh, come to a semi-smooth hand texture finish. Um, as you can see up here, um, we have popcorn ceiling. And uh, because we have residents and it's just not environmentally safe to scrape the, the popcorn off, we're just going to encapsulate the, the drywall by just sticking another layer on there. And so, the way that I bid jobs like this is I itemize everything because none of this stuff is cut and dry. The, uh, the covering of the floor is going to be one itemized uh, expense. The, the demo of the, uh, the wallpaper is going to be another itemized expense. The, uh, the drywall work in itself up there in the ceiling, that's a whole other itemized expense. Okay, so uh, the next thing I have to do is I have to measure out this hallway. I'm going to find out how long it is, okay? And then that way we know um, what we're dealing with in terms of square footage. Uh, yeah, we are itemizing every every step of the process, but but we still need to know the, the linear footage and the square footages, okay? So... measured the uh, the hallway we got 125 lineal feet of hallway okay and this hallway here is about four and a half feet wide and so if you do the math on that that's going to be you got about 540 we have about 540 uh, square feet of ceiling all right we have three floors of this so we know it's all predictable three floors of that now let's go ahead because uh, we got there's a lot of other common areas that we, we need to go look at and measure them. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's going to need to be covered. Every every one of these floors has that popcorn. That, that's all going to need to be redone. Um, okay, let's come down. Let's come downstairs. Come on down. Uh, 
Okay, so you can see right here, this ceiling, it's that it's got it's got a heavy spray texture on it. It's like a splatter. I'm I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to go away. Um, they're gonna want that to go away, but um, I will measure it up just in case they don't, or just in case they do. So we're on the third floor now, and uh, we're not going to measure up the hallway because, like I said, we already did it on the first floor. Everything's going to be the same for three floors in the hallway. But what's going to change is this ceiling right here. So this ceiling, we're going to have to bid the square footage of work to, to encapsulate it with new drywall. We're also going to have to build some type of scaffolding um, in this area so we can perform the work. And so that's that's one other thing that we cannot leave out uh, because that's that's probably going to cost the scaffold work, the time to break it down, to uh, to build it up. You know, you're probably going to be somewhere in the thousand dollar department. With that. We're going to go to the other side of the stairwell and we're going to take a look at it. Okay, so we're still on the third floor and uh, this is the one that's going to be the beast. If you take a look up there, look how high that is. We're talking about 20 feet up. So I'm definitely going to need scaffolding in here. This is going to be, it's going to, it's going to be the biggest challenge that I'm going to have pulling this thing off. Okay. Uh, nevertheless, um, it's it's pretty it's pretty much a cakewalk. Um, so let me also mention that uh, you got to figure out how much uh, it's going to cost to have everything stocked um, to build scaffolds. Uh, it's going to take time to uh, wall bot every bit of the layout. We don't know where the studs are. We have to make sure that we hit the studs. And with that, yes, it, it seems like it's going to be pretty expensive, and it probably will be, but the chances are um, when you spell everything out, and it, it allows for the customer to understand uh, what, what exactly he is he's going to pay for. Because if you leave something out of your bed and down the road, you have to buy the bullet. Or you have to go back to the client and say, hey, look, I didn't put that in my bed. Well, that doesn't make you look like, you know, you took a lot of time in, in, in crossing your T's and, and dotting your I's. So, so that's really, really important. You know, it's uh, bidding these type of jobs, they're not always that cutting dry. And so that's why I say um, you can use uh, general rulers like the three times rule, and, but Ultimately, you need to go out and look at the job. All right, everybody, the numbers are in. So this is what I'm bidding on this job and, and what I'm going to um, submit to, the, to the, uh, the management company. We're not doing the wallpaper, so that doesn't need to be calculated. The, uh, the labor cost is uh, in, in reference to the labor, the cleanup, the, the uh, masking of the floors, uh, things like that has nothing to do with the labor cost of the job. I, I, I felt that it was best to itemize every expense, every step, just because of the conditions. So, uh, we're going to stock materials, three floors. There's going to be a total of 80 sheets. And so you're looking at about 25 sheets uh, per floor. Uh, scaffold rail, we're going to have that in two uh, two different stairwells. One's going to be built to the platform above and that that's going to be nine foot high is, is where the scaffold platform is and then on the other on the other stairwell it's it's going to be a lot easier smaller 
So um, another thing we need to to um, to price out is finding the stud layout. Um, that's going to take a little bit of time, or could even take a lot of time, depending on what's uh, what what's under the board. But we'll find that out. So don't forget to throw that in. We're going to encapsulate the popcorn ceiling. Looks like there's 2,120 feet square feet of popcorn ceiling that needs to be encapsulated so make sure you, you throw that in. Uh, we're going to mask the floors three times. Now three times, uh, the reason for that is because uh, we're going to put it down, we're going to take it off at night and then we come back the next day, put it back down, take it off. We're going to do that three times everywhere uh, with an exception of maybe the stairwell because of the high traffic and uh, people don't need to um, to go to their homes um, or their apartments by walking across the plastic. And I just didn't want uh, any of the tenants to feel like they were in a construction site. So to minimize that, uh, we decided that we were going to go ahead and put it down and take it off. So three times for that. And then we're going to retexture orange peel to a Santa Fe smooth. And looks like there is uh, 3,800 square feet of that. And that, that's probably everything there. I've, uh, I've given it some thought. I've already got my numbers in. And I'm just going to submit it. Uh, regardless of what anybody thinks a job like this should cost, um, my number's in and it's final and set. Uh, it looks like the numbers are going to work. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the job, like I said. Uh, knock on wood, right? Uh, <laughs> Um, but once again, you know, um, I know this. I know this client. We've been doing business for ten years, and it, it should work out really well. Uh, with that being said, I hope I hope that you guys picked up anything. If any, if not, I, I, I hope that this will give you some confidence of going out there and doing it on your own. It's this is not one of those cut and dry, you know, uh, uh, bids. So. And that's why I wanted to take the time to, to, to show you guys everything. And with that being said, um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. F always feel free to like, subscribe. Uh, doesn't, it, it, uh, that doesn't bother me one bit. So with that being said, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys on the next video.